What is up guys, it is Infection here, and today I'm going to walk you through changing your GTX 745, or I guess any real graphics card that you've installed into your 8700 XPS Dell Tower, uh, and changing it to a 1060. It's pretty easy, this is the first time I've ever done this, so I had the GTX 745, which is so bad! So, <clears throat> I bought this 1060, and the first thing that you need to do is to remove all of the NVIDIA drivers, as you can see me doing here, and then maybe uninstall, yep, all those NVIDIA drivers, you need to uninstall them all. I had to restart my computer a couple times, uh, but that's okay, so just keep restarting it if you need to, and keep uninstalling everything until you're finished. Then go ahead and unplug everything from your computer after you're finished with that. All the USBs, all the power cables, everything. You want it to have nothing connected so there's no power running to it. Next, you'll have to unscrew the screw in the back right portion of the PC. And then all you have to do to slide that off is you literally just grab the little groove and pull back towards the back side of the PC and the whole thing will come off. Okay, good. And undo the grate. Just lift it here from the bottom. Boomsies. And what you're seeing me do here is remove one of these little metal uh, space takers for the back because your GTX is, if you will, a double layer uh, and it needs a little more room so the outputs can be reached. To take out the GTX 745, all you need to do is pull on the little plastic clip that is slightly above the graphics card and pull on that and then pull the GTX 745 out. And it might be a little hard to pull out, not hard, but you might have to give it a little bit of force, uh, and, but it will come out. It's been in my PC for three years, so it might have been years longer. Uh, it might be a little held down to that. It might be kind of attached and not really want to go. Then make sure you pull the plastic off of the GTX 1060. And this is a picture of, and the bottom of the screen is the bottom of the piece of the tower base. And that long strip right there, that is where you're going to insert that new GPU. It's exactly the same place that you took the GTX 745 out from. There we go. I got a screw hole. Perfect. 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 So that's it. And we will plug in the six pin power connector. And a little sidebar, I couldn't find that connector. It was in the empty space of right below the DVD drive or the Blu-ray drive, whatever it is. Uh, I've never used it, so I don't know. But it's right in that little space that's tucked in. You just pull it out. It's the yellow and black wires. Screw would go. All right. See, I'm a noob. I'm a noob. I'm a pleb at this. Total pleb. I've never opened a PC tower in my life. <laughs> Ever. And when you're putting this grate back in, it has a little mechanism so that you don't put the screw hole right through that metal piece. Don't worry about it. Put the screw in right where you took it out from in the grate. It will hold it very secure. Look at the beauty. Look at that thing. Baby. So then the next step would be to make sure and leave the side of the PC tower off and reconnect all of your plugins, reconnect all of your wires, and make sure and clean out your PC if you need to, just with a very soft cloth or a Swiffer or just by blowing in it like I did. All right, so we have it in. It's good. Good focus, please. Thank you kindly. So let's turn this baby on. Sounds like the fan is on. It looks like the fan is on. Let's see if we can focus in here. It looks, you'll see that movement down there. So the fan's definitely on. That means it is working. So basically that means all we gotta do is install the new drivers. 
for the 1060 and we'll be G to G so I'm gonna do that okay guys so last step in this is you gotta go down, download your driver so I went to evga.com and you just input your family on there for your graphics card you can see the graphics card tab put your family in your uh, operating system and then it'll show you which one and you just got to download and when you, after you download that make sure because I had to do this because it didn't actually install it had a little hiccup so under your C drive under Nvidia and your display driver display driver your display driver it'll have I had three other files right here and I had already uninstalled everything on that I saw that I could but there were three other folders here that had been, you know, installed. There's two in 2015 and one in 2016. And so I went ahead and deleted those, then came back up here and went to setup down here and went ahead and run it, ran it again. And everything installed perfect. Everything is G2G. Guys, that is it for this video. That is the full installation in a Dell 8700 XPS tower with a GTX uh, EVGA 6 gig. 1060, no big deal. Forget about it. Don't forget to keep classy. Peace. No, my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always prepped.